Okay. All right. So in the last class, we were talking about the 17th chapter, that's algebraic representation and formula. And this is a very big topic here. We will talk about a variety of algebraic equations. Okay. Now, when you look at an equation of this type, let's say 2x plus 3. Okay. This certainly has x in it. But what if I say 2x squared plus 3? Now, this has x squared in it. What if I say 2x cubed plus 3 in it? So, this is a linear equation. This is basically a quadratic equation. And then this is a cubic equation. We'll talk about all the types in detail for now. I just wanted to specify that we have different, different types of algebraic expressions. Okay. All right. So this was the idea. Uh, for now, we have only talked about uh, this type. And we had some discussion. We did some past paper questions. And the last past paper question was basically about an algebraic fraction. So let's talk about algebraic fractions in detail now, okay? One second, let me just take them out, okay. This is what we need to talk about. And this is going to clear your concepts about uh, you know, other simple fractions as well. Okay, so we have a variety. Let me talk about all the cases here, just so we are clear with the difference and all of them. So for instance, if I write down x divided by 4 plus y divided by 5. Okay, now this is example 1. Example number two with similar fractions, x divided by four minus y divided by five. Example number three, x divided by four multiplied by y divided by five. And example number four or type four is x divided by four, then the division sign, and then y divided by four. Now, here I've written four different types of fractions that you guys will be dealing with. It could be simple numerical fractions where we have two by five plus three by five, or it could be fractions with some variable. The idea is going to be same, okay? For addition and subtraction. Always remember for addition and subtraction, we are going to take the LCM first, okay? And for multiplication and division, things are different. So let's talk about addition and subtraction for now. How do we take LCM? It's very simple, four and five. We know that when I will take the LCM of these two numbers, I am going to basically get the product of the two numbers. I'll write down four, it's one times five as it is, and then five, one, and one. So LCM is going to be four multiplied by five, that is 20, okay? So since the first two fractions have plus and minus sign between them, just like numerical fractions, we are going to take the LCM first, and the LCM has turned out to be 20. Now I will do 4 multiplied by 5 to get 20 since I'm multiplying 5 in the denominator. This is maths. I need to balance everything. So I'll multiply 5 in the numerator as well. And this is 5. So to get 20, I'll do 5 multiplied by 4. So I'll do 5 multiplied by 4 in the numerator as well. And this would become 5x plus 4y and this is going to be the answer. Obviously, you will get such examples where you can simplify things, you can cancel out stuff, but it's not necessary that you come across that question, okay? So for now, we are going to talk about all the types and then we'll talk about past paper questions here, okay? For the second question or for the second type, what's happening? Again, we have a minus sign. And when you have minus sign, you need to take the LCM first. And we already know that the LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. 
one second uh can we simplify 4y and okay okay one second one second i'm sorry okay so this is a good question let me answer this okay now one of the students is saying if we can cancel out 4 and 20 or 5 and 20 as in if i'm correct the question is basically if i can cancel it out like this right okay this is not only your question i've seen students asking this thing again and again now let me answer that as well okay always remember Whenever you have a plus sign in the numerator and if you think that this number and this number are cancelable. Yes, this would have been the case if I had a multiplication sign here. In that case, I would have easily cancelled 5 and 20 or 4 and 20. But since I have a plus sign here and the two terms are separate in the numerator, so I cannot do it. Okay. I cannot do it. Yes, you're right, Mois. Okay. But for question one, the question was if we can cancel 5 and 20 or 4 and 20, you cannot do that because you have a plus sign. You would have done that if we had a multiplication sign. Okay. But we cannot do it. What we can do is we can just, again, you know, if we write it down this way, 5x divided by 20 plus 4y divided by 20 because this 20 is being divided by both the terms then you can cancel it but obviously if you do so you are going to get what the question was okay so we were asked to simplify and write it as one fraction so for that this is going to be the final answer and you cannot cancel 5 or 4 with 20 because there's a plus sign between it okay similarly if we look at the second example that has a minus sign between them, x by 4 minus y by 5, because of the minus, I know I'll have to take the LCM. And 4 and 5 gave me 20 as the LCM. So 4 multiplied by 5. So x would be multiplied by 5. And 5 would be multiplied by 4. And why am I doing so? Because here I have 20. I need 20 here as well. And I would get 20 when I will multiply 5 by 4. But it's maths. I cannot do anything by my choice. I need to balance stuff. And then this would be mathematically correct. And this would give me 5x minus 4 phi. And this is going to be the answer. Again, I cannot do this because I have a minus sign between these two terms. So I can certainly not cancel it out. Okay. This was the case for the first two uh, types where we have plus or minus. Let's talk about the third and fourth types here. So this is the multiplication sign and this is the division sign. And now things are certainly different. Now, whenever you have two fractions, it could be that the fractions are numerical. It could be that the fractions are with variable, whatever the fractions are. If they have multiplication or division sign between them, just know, just know that you are not supposed to find the LCM for the scenario. LCM is only for plus or minus. For multiplication division, this is considered to be uh, one of the most favorite types for the students because it's very easy. You are directly going to multiply the numerator with numerator. That is x, y divided by the multiplication of the two denominators. That would give you 4 multiplied by 5. That is 20. And this is going to be the answer. And for the last one, that is the very good movies in Taha. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, for the third example, can mm -hmm. we cross multiply them? Okay, so you're saying if you can multiply 5 and x and 4 and y? Yes, ma'am. No, you cannot cross multiply them, but let's say if you had if you had uh, 20 here, for instance, if you had 20 here, you can cancel them. Right, you can cancel five and twenty, but you cannot cross multiply five and x. Okay. Okay, okay ma'am. Yes. All right. So this was basically the thing. Okay, and the last one has a division sign. Now this is one of the most interesting, and it has a different method. The first fraction is going to come as it is. X by four would come as it is. Division would basically be written as multiplication. Again, it's maths. I cannot just change the sign and then think that everything is okay. I need to make some other change as well. So the other change is basically this, that I'm going to write this y by 5 as 
the reciprocal and that is going to be 5 by y and this is going to give me 5x divided by 4y. So this would be the answer. Yes. Any difficulties with this? Anything that you guys need to ask? No. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. So this was just an idea for you guys to understand the, uh, you know, differences in all these question types. Okay. Now, the only thing we need to do is practice a good variety of questions just so we understand the concepts easily. By looking at your homeworks, I could see that some of you were good with quadratic uh, expressions as well. So let's talk about question number one. Okay, it is x minus 3 divided by 15, then division sign, and then x squared minus 3x divided by 5. This is the question. Now, what is the thing? The thing is that I have two fractions, and between these two fractions, I have just division sign. So, this is the first step I need to identify for the solution. I am going to write the first fraction as it is. X minus 3 would come as it is. Division would be changed to multiplication. And I'll take the reciprocal. How do we take the reciprocal? I'll take the denominator to numerator and the numerator to denominator. So this would become 5 divided by x squared minus 3x. And now I need to stay within the fractions and simplify. Now I can clearly see that here I can take x common, x squared minus 3x. So I can take x common and this would give me x minus 3 would come as it is, 15 would come as it is, multiplication, 5, everything is same. I'm only talking about this yellow in circle thing. I can take x common and this would give me x minus 3. Now, here is the uh, here is um, the answer to your question, Kabir. Now, what we can do is we can just cancel out with the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second fraction. Okay, so x minus 3 and x minus 3 can be cancelled. Why am I able to do so? Because here I have a multiplication sign. If this was addition or subtraction, I would not have been able to cancel out opposite, uh, you know, numerator and denominators. I can do so because this is multiplication. Ma'am, and 5 and 15 also? Very good. Well done. Excellent. It's 1 times and it's 3 times and I would be left with... 1 divided by 3x. So this is going to be the answer. Okay, let me just look at uh, some messages. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, I don't know what I did, but I got 1 by 2. I used indices thing. I have, uh, okay, one second. Umaiza, here uh, you cannot use indices anywhere, okay? Because we don't have something of this type, x squared multiplied by x. We are using indices for such scenarios where we have variables and they are being multiplied with variables only. Here you have numbers as well, okay? Yes, in division, certainly, like x minus 3 and x minus 3 can be cancelled. So I think you've used indices there. But other than that, this question is not really about uh, indices, okay? Were you able to understand my working? Okay, then you, then yes. you, okay, Umayza, then you did something wrong. Just look at it once again. So we have two fractions with division sign. Okay, forget about your working. Forget about it. Just write the first fraction as it is. This is going to be the first fraction. It would come as it is. Let me admit another student once again. Okay. And the division sign have been changed to multiplication sign. And then I've taken the reciprocal of the second fraction. How do we take the reciprocal of any fraction? By replacing the numerator with denominator. Okay. Then I could see that this yellow in circle thing can be factorized. So I took x out and I got x into x minus 3. Now, since we have a multiplication sign between them, so I was able to cancel out stuff. So x minus 3 and x minus 3 were cancelled. 15 and 5 were cancelled and I would get 1 divided by 3x. So this is going to be the answer. Yes. Is it okay now? 
Okay, perfect. Let's talk about another question. If you guys have any queries, anything, please feel free to ask me because obviously for now we are talking about the contents. And if anything is not clear, you can certainly ask me freely, okay? Let's talk about another question. Question number two. Okay, let me write down the statement as well. It says, simplify fully. It's x minus four divided by three minus x plus seven divided by five. This is basically the fraction, okay? Now, what is happening? Again, we have two fractions with a minus sign. So whenever you have two fractions with a minus sign, how do we deal with things? One second. Uh, are you guys able to hear me properly? Because one of yes, you was uh, just saying she was uh, not able to hear me properly. Me. Okay. All right. So we have two fractions with a minus sign. This means I need to take the LCM of 3 and 5. How do we take the LCM of 3 and 5? It's very simple. It would be 3, 1, and then 5 as it is, and then 5, 1, and 1, and it would be 3 multiplied by 5. That would give me 15. Okay. Next, the LCM is 15, 3 multiplied by 5. So, obviously, x minus 4 would also be multiplied by 5. And then 5 would be multiplied by 3 to get 15. So, the numerator would also be multiplied by 3. And this would give you x minus 4 multiplied by 5. And then x plus 7 multiplied by 3. We need to simplify this. So, how do we do this? Let me write it down more properly. It's 5 x minus 4. I have written this 5 over here. Then we have a minus sign and I'll write this 3 over here. It's 3 x plus 7 divided by 15. Now certainly I cannot do this cancellation because I have a minus sign between them. I need to expand first and then I'll simplify. 5 would be multiplied with this x and with this 4. So it would give me 5x minus 20. And then 3 would be multiplied with x and 3 would be multiplied with 7. Or you can say that minus 3 would be multiplied with x. This would give me minus 3x and minus 3 multiplied by positive 7 minus 21 divided by 15. So I need to extract the x terms out. It's 5x and it's 3x. I need to talk about their difference and that is going to be 2x minus. Okay, now I have minus 20 and minus 21. So I will add because the signs are same. This would give me minus 41 divided by 15. And this is going to be the answer. Just give me one minute, look at the working and I'll be back in, in, in two seconds. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Um, yes, Amaiza? Okay. Let me explain this to you again. And then let's see if you are able to understand the working or not. In this question, we had two fractions with a minus sign. Okay. And whenever we have a minus sign, we need to take the LCM. The LCM turned out to be 15. So how do we do it? The LCM is 15. So I need to multiply it by 5. I'll multiply the numerator by 5. I wrote 5 here. Similarly, I had 5 here. 5 multiplied by 3. So I multiplied the numerator with 3 and I got 3 here. Then 5 would be multiplied with this x and with this minus 4. 5 multiplied by x would give me 5x. 5 multiplied by minus 4 would give me minus 20. Similarly, minus 3 multiplied by x would give me minus 3x and minus 3 multiplied by 7 would give me minus 21. And then I'm just supposed to simplify. So 5x minus 3x gave me 2x and minus 20 minus 21 gave me minus 41. And then we had divided by 15 the denominator. Yes. Any difficulties with this question? Anything that you guys were not able to understand? Understood. Um, understood. Okay.